Meghan Markle, 40, and Prince Harry, 37, tied the knot on May 19, 2018, at St. George Chapel in a highly publicized event. But the Duke and Duchess of Sussex reportedly have unseen footage from the day which they are looking at sharing on Netflix. NBC royal expert Neil Sean has claimed Netflix thinks it is a good idea for the royal couple to release the footage with their own commentary. Speaking on his YouTube channel, Mr. Sean claimed, what they're looking at as an idea is themselves going through their own wedding pictures and screening unseen footage on a big screen and then providing the commentary. The idea is that they look at these pictures and footage and share their inner thoughts of their special and romantic big day. Someone at Netflix thinks this is actually quite a good idea including the very close team around Harry and Meghan, but it always remains to be seen if an audience will tune into that. I'm sure lots of media will but the basic idea is really this, their team has decided to look back on something when the public really like them. Share a memory of the times where things were a little happier and the public seemed to connect with them. This is a very clever move if this allegedly goes forward as it would given us a very rare insight into a British royal wedding. It comes as Harry and Meghan are expected to relaunch their social media channels after royal watchers spotted a photographer following them during their New York visit. Royal commentator Roberta Fiorito claimed Harry and Meghan look set to relaunch their social media after a hiatus. Speaking on the Royally Obsessed podcast, Ms. Fiorito said, I was reading so much about Meghan and Harry having a video camera and a photographer following them. We haven't seen any Archwell updates when they were in New York so we're going to see tons of footage from that. There's maybe a Netflix documentary in the works. There's speculation they are relaunching their social channels and this is all content for that. WNBC reporter Romney Smith recalled how Meghan and Harry's photographers and media were outside of the media huddle. Ms. Smith told the Royally Obsessed podcast, the five-minute queue happened four different times and then they said two minutes. At one point everyone got really, really quiet because we saw a couple of other media people and we were like, who are they, and why are they in front of the line? That's when we realized it really is two minutes because this is their photographers and their media people because none of us knew them.